Chemistry can make our lives better. Perhaps there's no better example of this than the story of chlorinated water. At the beginning of the 20th century in America, waterborne diseases like typhoid fever and dysentery were rampant. Deaths from these diseases were very common, especially in infants and young children. Cities and industries were thriving. Newly built sewer systems removed waste from cities, but unfortunately redirected it to drinking water sources for downstream communities. As a result, the quality of drinking water was suffering, and so were the people who depended on it. Pioneering physician Dr. John L. Leal advocated for water chlorination in Jersey City, New Jersey, where typhoid fever rates were soaring. He knew chlorine was a safe and effective disinfectant that had been used successfully to help control some infectious disease outbreaks. But many of his contemporaries opposed the idea of using chemicals in drinking water for any reason. It took two landmark trials and Dr. Leal's persistence to finally make water chlorination an accepted practice. In 1908, Jersey City residents became the first to have access to chlorinated municipal drinking water. But within a decade, 33 million people across the country did. Rates of waterborne disease plummeted and life expectancy increased dramatically. So the next time you take a drink of treated tap water, make a toast to Dr. Leal and the life-changing impact he made with chlorination. Surprised to learn all of this? Learn more about chlorine chemistry at elementofsurprise.org.